Right, good day and welcome to today's video in which we're going to be looking at adding graphics, um, not just adding pics, but also inserting objects. So yeah, I've just got a blank document in front of me. I've got a bit of text and we're going to go up to the insert tab. Okay, so when I click on the insert tab, you can see I can insert from the illustration section over here. I can insert a picture, I can insert a shape, I can insert smart art. And those are the three we're really going to be um, looking at. So if I want to insert a picture, first of all, I must always just make sure where my cursor is. And I'm going to go pictures. And then I can choose where uh, I want to actually get the, the particular picture from. So I'm just going to say this device. And then I'm going to go and search for a picture. Hopefully I have something here. Okay, let's use this one, inserting terms, and you'll see what it does. It inserts it exactly where the cursor uh, was. I've also got different layout options immediately that's there for me. And if I click on it, you can see that I can select any one of these. This is in case there's text um, that you are actually inserting the picture into. So you can have the, 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 the picture, you know, be in the middle of the text, um, be very tight with the text, be, you know, have the text showing through, um, you know, the picture behind the text, any, any one of these options, but this is where you can do that. So let's just say we are happy with the picture as it is, but we, we, we want to do a little bit of, you know, editing, <laughs> very, very uh, soft editing, if I can put it that way. So we can use the crop option over here. And you'll see when I click on crop, um, I can actually eliminate that little bit of you know, that white border over there. I can say, no, well, that's what I want it to look like. And that's fine. So now when I click on it, you can see where my border is. Also, I want to position it and you can see I can position it over here, um, you know, to be above the text, you know, wherever. Again, these are just some of the layout options. All right. I've then also got a section up here, the minute, because you can see when I click away, I don't, I've just got my normal tabs on top of As soon as I click on the picture, now I've got a format tab that comes up. So I can go and add a picture border uh, if I want to. And there you can see the yellow border. You can also see I can, um, you know, I can mess around a bit with the weight of that. So you'll see there, there's my yellow border. Um, I can add a picture effect as well. You know, maybe I want a glow um, around the picture anything like that. But this is where you're going to fiddle around with this. Uh, we've also got a layout and then you've got different picture styles as well. So let's say I want it to look like that. I can do any of those things. Um, and those are the, the basic things that you'll be doing with your picture. Um, on the left hand side here, we've got some more advanced things like some, you know, corrections that we can do to brighten it up. We can uh, mess around with the color a little bit. Um, there are some artistic effects as well, but we're not going to worry too much about that. So this is how we then insert a pic. You can see if I click above it, I can move it down. Um, if I click on that picture, I can move it to the center um, or to the right or left, you know, just to align the picture there as well. And then I can also resize the picture. Okay. Um, you know, as I wish. So over here, under the format tab on the far right, this is one that people sometimes struggle with because um, in the test you you might be asked to make this picture five. Let's let's make it five centimeters by five centimeters. Okay, so I type in five centimeters, and now I also want to type in five centimeters over here. Uh, but you'll see is ah okay. In this case, it did allow me ah no, it's not. Now why is that? That's because I need to go to this little button here when it comes to size and I need to take this tick out of lock aspect ratio. Okay. As soon as I do that, see, because what it's doing, it's, it's keeping the ratio intact here. All right. Okay. So if I now go five and I click anywhere, you can see the aspect ratio in terms of what it should look like. It's, it's not being kept anymore, but it's allowing me to do a, a a five by five. So if you are asked to do this in the tests and it's not allowing you, just remember where to go to 
and just to take that tick out of lock aspect ratio. And that's basically how we add picks into our Word document.